to Snohomish County, where police are looking to find out who shot and killed a longtime gas station worker. So someone walked into the store early Sunday morning and shot him to death. Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee live in Linwood with the story right now at that Chevron. And uh, Jennifer, I understand there's a growing memorial for that victim. Yeah, Matt and Jamie, it has been a visibly emotional day for people who are stopping by. You can see that flowers were left behind as well as some cards and balloons all in memory of the victim. Tej Paul Singh, we're told he was 59 or 60 years old and apparently he never missed a day of work here at the Chevron gas station in over 20 years. Now we're going to show you a closer look at the picture. Singh is standing in the middle of two brothers, Robbie and Randy Johal, their family owns the gas station and they tell me that Singh was like a father to them. They were devastated to learn Singh was fatally shot early Sunday morning. Snohomish County detectives believe the suspect was trying to rob the Chevron gas station here at 148th Street and Highway 99. Cherish a lot of moments working together here, even when I was in my young teens. Um, learned a lot from him. Uh, just a great guy. I spend a lot of time with Paul every day here at the store. Um, I come back and it doesn't feel the same. And it's just pretty hard. Yeah, just such a sad day for everyone here. The Snohomish County Sheriff's Office released surveillance pictures of the suspect. No arrests have been made and the case is under investigation. We're told that Singh had a wife and three children that he leaves behind. There will be a vigil to honor his life this Wednesday night here at the Chevron gas station. For now, reporting live in Linwood, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News.